Uh, spoiler and offensive content warning, though apparently I am going to try to tone down the offensive content this episode and be a family-friendlier version of myself. This is going to take all of my willpower. <laughs> we're, con- we're completely friends. <laughs> we are... We, let's use the the uh, Battlestar Galactica term. Fract. We're fracked. We're we're we are. I was about to say f wording fracked. <laughs> this is gonna last zero seconds. Dave, what are we watching? Gravity Falls episode two. I uh, cannot wait. Based on the quality of the first episode. Here we go. I I love how he just gave her like this glare because she totally cheated, and then he just went back to reading his stupid magazine. <laughs> That's amazing. Obviously, it's been a race that has happened many times. <laughs> Indeed. I can't believe I missed this. Is he a Shriner? He had that hat on all of last episode, didn't he? I am stupid as. As something that is really stupid. This is gonna be so hard to not swear. I'm gonna enjoy it so much. Oh, it hurts to do. Uh, to not do. Wow! <laughs> That's hilarious. Their great uncle is obviously involved in some serious duty. Should I go through the first episode and, like, bleep out all the swears? You know something? That. Speaking off the podcast. Um... Yeah, don't worry, nobody will hear this. Wink. Yeah. Um, maybe that would be a, a more effective thing, it, more comedic, just bleep it out. Or I could pre-record you, myself saying, darn. Use different sounds or do that instead, just because. Maybe some, maybe Disney will come, will come and be like, yeah, you could swear all you want, man, we don't care. Still. That'll happen, Carlos. Yeah, exactly. I love his eyes right now. <laughs> Yeah, the first He's sort of like, funny. oh, how God. many more clues are in this frame? There's a jar of something green up on the top left. Slime. Yep. Yeah. There's some sort of pipe there. Broken wood. Yeah, that seems safe. Okay. okay he's running away with money. Um, they made a point of saying trust no one, and then show Mabel show up. But I have a hard time believing that she would be a person untrustworthy of yeah. the person's trust. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. And that would be too easy to boot. She's, yeah. she's the obvious red herring of that scene. Yeah. So here we have a Magic 8 Ball. I, as I recall, gravity falls or fails in this scene. Mm-hmm. Lamp, bucket. Kind of a weird mattress. A little bit weird. Just because of... The st- Impaled. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ship. Some of these pictures have to have a clue. Okay, hand, something. The, there's a Weird gnome. guy, gnome, aliens. What's that one on the bottom right? Looks like a, like a worm or a staff there's or like something. a happy face on it. Yeah. Also, there's some UFOs there. There's something bitten out of it. Do you think maybe we're reading too much into this? <laughs> That's a problem with somebody telling you there's a clue. Uh, so look at the symbols around this little character in the middle here. We have a gla- glasses with eyes, the question mark, which is very prominent everywhere. It's on the, the one guy's shirt all the time. Yep, there's, and it's on the cart, and it's on the house, the and it's house, on everywhere. The hand on the book. Yep, uh, a tree. Mabel's a, t-shirt. Yeah, that's right, a pentagram. Uh, I was going to say... Uh, is that a llama or is that a goat? Because there's a prominent goat in that first episode. That looks more like a llama, but I'll accept a goat. Dave, you know how to read binary, right? Oh, because no, I see, no. I see. Okay, here's a few things I notice. If you look on the, if you look to your right, just a little below the center, there appears to be the Konami code. Um, if you. <laughs> If you look to your left and then <laughs> up above the hourglass, there is something there in binary. Now, let's just punch that into Google and see if it translates it for me. Folks, we swear to God, we have not read ahead. We are just trying to figure this out. If you know the mystery, maybe keep it to yourself, okay? Maybe maybe don't ruin this for us, all right? 
010-111-010. It converts to 186 in decimal and BA in hex. Try this one. 010111. 010 Uh... There's stuff coming about, up about a Solog prophecy? Earthquake terrorism plane? Where are you seeing this? Um, right beside the llama. Zero one zero one one one, and then the next line's one z one zero zero, z zero one 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 one. So I just give the first line. Because <laughs> what? When I uh, when I put in that other code, yeah, the second result is someone saying six one eight and gravity falls by someone on DeviantArt. And I didn't read the description or click the link, and I'm going to close Google right now. Okay. So clearly there are some clues going on here this that we is haven't... This probably dis- the clue. The, the, the symbol in the middle, right? Like the well, whole no, circle. No, this whole thing. Well, yeah, that's probably the clue. But I mean, but what else is there? What's that symbol to the top left of the circle? With the... Uh, this? Yeah, that thing. What is that? Is that a musical symbol of some kind? I feel like I should know what that is. Also, what's the PPT below that? No, that's those are musical symbols. That, however, is appears to be a harp of some th- some sort. What about that array on the top right? Can you make that out at all? Uh Maybe overthinking this is going to ruin stuff for us. Maybe let's just keep watching. Fair enough. But still, interesting interesting image here. I like here. the Konami code over here. Yes, that's a good code. Wouldn't it be awesome if, if some kid watched this right now, did what we did, and then maybe some relative introduced some old NES games, and for some reason he tries that code, or he or she tries the code, and they're like, oh, wow! It's like they see the past! <laughs> I love the elbow drop in the boat. <laughs> I like how despite his obvious uh, huge mass, that didn't capsize them. Or move the boat at all. It <laughs> just kind of dipped a bit. See? Cops are pigs. I will not bring in my political agenda to this. But funny though. <laughs> They're just jerks. <laughs> yeah, these guys just, just act- oh, this no swear restriction limits my vocabulary so much. They're just well, that happened. fart no, buckets. Kind of I don't know. Like, They're big, smelly jerks. <laughs> this is cramping my style, you know that? I'm loving it, because they should expand your vocabulary. I need to swear to express myself. <laughs> you don't. How do I? How do I express? Oh God! I, my whole worldview is changing. I can see all realities, and most of them suck. <laughs> what kind of gem rejects were those? <laughs> the rejects. <laughs> also, did I mention how much I love Mabel? <laughs> Now that we're alone, Rosanna, there's a burning question which my heart longs to ask of you. Oh, Reginald. Hey! Wanna hear a joke? Here goes. My ex-wife still misses me, but her aim is getting better. Her aim is getting better. You see, it's, it's funny because marriage is terrible. This is more romantic than anything in Sailor Moon Crystal, and I'm including when Stan comes here. Okay, so we've got spooky, fog-covered island, we've got the requisite totem pole (laughs) surrounded by water. In a place known for its paranormal activity. Great! This should be the one place that nothing bad happens. (laughs) This is the forest animal haven. With the Master Sword. Oh yeah, it is too! Tonight, we're here with adventure seeker Dipper Pines, who bravely photographed the elusive Gobblewonker. Tell me, Dipper, what's the secret to your success? Well, I run away from nothing. 
Nothing except for when I ran away from my annoying Grunkle Stan, who I ditched in order to pursue that lake monster. How right you were to do so. He looked like a real piece of work. I don't often do this, but I feel the need to give you an award. How does that even... Somehow, she invaded his head. <laughs> Why? There was no reason for that scene. <laughs> what happened? How did it happen? Magically. <laughs> I love this show, man. Okay. Okay, hang on a second. Okay, my cheeks hurt. Okay, hang on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think we've lost Carlos. Okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. You can, you can pause it. I'm good. I'm good. Holy Everyone. I mean, darn! No. I know what you're thinking. The beavers are cute. I agree. Beavers are awesome. That was good. That was a good episode. Uh, what did you think? I'm loving it! It's a good show! You're not going home, any home anytime soon. But it's so late. And daylight savings is tonight, Doesn't tomorrow. Matter. But I don't wanna. Whenever I'm like, hey Dave, let me sleep over, and you're like, get the hell out, you bum. And now you're like, hey, you can just stay over, and I'm like, ah, uh, but, but, but. I didn't say that. <laughs> no, this is a good show so far. Uh, uh, any more thoughts? I want to continue. Okay, well, uh, let's just throw episode three on this. Did you write that title? Did you write that title? Sounds like something you wrote. The Duck Detective? Yes. Absolutely. Also, why is he being a jerk and slapping her hand away from popcorn? Just want some... I mean, that that was great deduction. <laughs> just want some freaking popcorn, man. That duck is a genius. I just got that. <laughs> I just got it. I am the worst. I am the dumbest. <laughs> the dumbest. I have very keen powers. So I was cleaning up. Really? It was hidden? The Get the door knob. Like, <laughs> worst hidden door ever. Maybe to facilitate finding it again, he installed a doorknob. It's a secret wax to facilitate him putting it back in, he still wouldn't be secret. Look, if you're gonna be all nitpicky about everything... Nitpicky! I'm talking science! I don't get why in every single anime review you do, you gotta nitpick every little detail down to the last everything. It's getting a little unbearable. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm I'm the worst. I'm the worst friend. <laughs> what happens after I throw a grenade at you? I you catch duck it. And with, cover. I catch it with my teeth, and then you put my upper body back on my lower body. Behold the Gravity Falls Wax Museum. It was one of our most popular attractions before I forgot all about it. I got them all: Genghis Khan, Sherlock Holmes, some kind of I don't know Goblin Man. <laughs> Anyone else <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Yo, Disney, what you got against Larry King, man? And and she's always saying, "Kill me." <laughs> Every moment I live is agony. <laughs> it's 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 like Full Metal Alchemist, but worst. Oh, why did I remind myself of Nina? Oh, now I'm sad. <laughs> I was thinking more of Penny Arcade. <laughs> the unhorse. <laughs> the unhorse. Look what your careless hands have wrought. Look, his gnarled hooves can't support his weight. Select the gun and then select your horse. I don't want to select the gun and then select your horse. <laughs> Could you imagine typing a QR code wrong and it just mangles the thing? Could you imagine? Yep. Like, if you're playing one of those Monster Rancher games and you put in like a scratched CD and it's just a deformed mess of a thing with faces where it shouldn't be and I'd, it just I'd, longs for death. I'd make those QR codes on purpose. <laughs> you're the monster now, Dave. And give it to kids. <laughs> oh, come on. Who left the so open? it's over summer vacation. That's 60 days. Each season's 20 episodes. They're not covering every day, of course, because they mention they see stuff all the time that's weird, so we're missing some stuff they've seen. Yeah, this can fit in a summer vacation over two seasons, but not three. Who says that it's one summer vacation? Good point. Who says they go home? It's not like Ben... Oh! 
It's not like Bad 10 where four seasons of that show were in one summer vacation. I feel the need to point out it was a stone hit. Not a wax. Maybe it well, clearly it was wax, so she was she, she really was chiseling wax. Also, she's carrying an axe around. That's fine. Mabel Pines should not be trusted with an axe. I considered everything. Well, don't ask me. Would you trust me with an axe? She's crazier than I am. How many things have I accidentally beamed you in the head with today? Completely by accident. Look, night's not over, so axe me later. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. That's really cute. I just hit on why I love this show so much. It reminds me of the old point and click adventures. It really does. It really has a lot of that old Sam and Max and LucasArts adventure game humor, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And while I was not the biggest fan of those games, I could not argue argue with the often very snappy and witty writing I mean. Yeah! There is some Sam and Max here. There's some Sam and Max here, legit. Just, just her off comment, he's resting. That's <laughs> totally a LucasArts comment. Do you remember that Beavis and Butthead adventure game? You could click Beavis on the vent and he'd be like, <laughs> Nacho! And Nacho would echo through the school. Maybe I shouldn't harp on adventure games so much. No, you shouldn't. I think I'd rather just watch you play them than play them myself, though. I'm predicting your future. Sad and lonely. You are. You're the worst. Sack, but... Well, how do I end this in a family friendly way? Uh, the worst sack of refuse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving this part too. What, what 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 ticks me off is that I think this show is more offensive than I am right now. <laughs> Manly Dan, just the guy I wanted to see. Where were you last night? Punching the clock. You were at work. No, I was punching that clock. Ten o'clock, the time of the murder. So I guess you've never seen this before. Listen, little girl! Hey, actually, I'm... I wouldn't pick my teeth with that axe. It's left-handed. I only use my right hand. A left-handed axe. Yeah, it's made for left-handed people. You a southpaw? You done best not using that axe. It doesn't exist. I know. Oh. It's like making a left-handed sword. It was built on the wrong axis. I can't condone that one, Dave. That was not very good. I'm sorry. Also, let's look at these names. Uncle Phil? Yeah. <laughs> Angry Lady, that fat guy. <laughs> Old Man McGucket. Oh, and Susie. Yes. Garage sale. A hundred garage sales, son! I wonder if that's Coolio's voice. I must warn you. Probably is. I hope so. Price. I'm being real with you right now. This little action scene here at the end of this episode is better than most of the shaky cam garbage coming out of Hollywood. And I'm not even joking. Yep. Yep. So did I mention this show is amazing yet? Yes, um, I don't see many other shows in our future. Well, we gotta get back to the fall 2014 animes before fall 2015 rolls around. Sure we do. <laughs> well, you know, there are probably gonna be some people who watch this and think, oh, for a guy who's on a show called The Anime Rave, Carlos sure seems to hate on anime and want the the uh, pros of uh, non-Japanese animation a lot. And that is correct! Because this craps on a lot of the things... No, it doesn't quite crap on them, but it's definitely better. This is, this is awesome. It's awesome. It's not better than Kill a Kill, but what is? Why am I comparing Gravity Falls to Kill a Kill? Because this is anime ref. It is, and in, in Japanese, anime is any kind of animation. So this counts. Larry King, Coolio, folks, thank you so much for listening to us watch a really awesome show. Carlos and Dave Anime Rave .com is your home for us opining about things we... You know, I often say that people shouldn't watch us, but people should watch us, if only to learn how not to do one of these, like... It's... I kid, Dave. You're a valuable part of something. I don't know what yet, but definitely something. Hang on, we're gonna get your death on. Dave, why, why are you... Why are you pulling out that Guitar Hero guitar? Why did you sharpen one of the ends to a blade? 
Why did you? Gurgle.